All right, Randy, tell us about yourself and uh, this hunting thing that you do. My hunting thing I do. Okay. <laughs> um, when I was six years old, I think I was six, my dad, my stepdad, but he's my father, he uh, took me out to Rock Creek Ranch on the outlet of that creek going for quail and chucker. There's a bunch of his buddies that I can remember as long time ago, but what I remember is six years old, I had a shotgun, a covey of chucker went overhead, ended up in the sunlight. I couldn't see them, but I had my shotgun up, shot in the sunlight, and sure enough, chucker fell. Right then, that is when everything just started for me when I was, as a hunter. Very young, everything just started from there. And when I got older, I started paying attention to how my dad was butchering and then how my mom was cooking. And it everything just made more sense. And then even later, after that, I started getting meat from other people that... uh was butchered by random people. They paid a lot of money for this, and it was bad. It was not what my family's ever done, never taught us. Like, sinew, fat, ligament was included in the steaks, and it's like, venison fat's a big no-no. Sinew makes it chewy. Ligament, you can't, you can't even chew that. So why is it in there? And you paid good money for that. So... The hunting started real young. The butchering started later on, but it all comes together as I am now, a hunter, butcher, and I love to cook. My wife's an excellent cook of the venison. And now I enjoy hunting myself a lot, but what I get the most out of hunting nowadays is getting other people involved. And I try really hard every year to get my buddies out hunting that don't hunt as avid as I am. Different schedules, whatever, it's hard. But sometimes I get people out that I can teach them what I do, show them what I do, and the joy on their faces when I see it. That is just amazing to see, to feel. I don't know if anyone's ever felt it before, but it's like pride and joy from something I do and love passed on to someone else. Mike Davis getting his first buck, just the joy and heart felt moments we had getting his first buck, and then to this day, he hunts every year now. Not hunted a day before, then all of a sudden, Nevada, every year, he's putting in for tax. I would like to say I helped him out with that, but good on you, Mike. And Danny Sullivan, he's still putting in for tags. The poor guy is worse luck, but... Hopefully we can get out hunting again together soon. Show them a few things, a few tricks, whatever, and just take my wife out every year. And my kids are getting old enough. They're going to be hunting. And I hope they're going to be hunting. I hope they take it up just like I did. And we're going to have a whole crew of hunters on our, in our house. So, yeah.